Hey there everybody, a Shadow Phoenix here with a fantastic new product. Actually, we are back here in a Crystal Gardens Park, uh, and it is another Planet Coaster video, as you can tell. Um, what we are doing today is, since the last few videos we've worked on the center of the park, the entrance plaza, and then we, we kind of uh, started on the left side of the park, I thought it would be a good idea to kind of branch out on the right side of the park and kind of go from there. So as you can see, I have plopped down one of my infamous uh, boomerang coasters that I love to do. Uh, now, why are mine kind of different than other boomerang coasters? Because I always do a double loop on my boomerangs. Uh, it's something you won't actually find in reality, but it's still something that I like to do uh, because it adds just a little bit of variety to the coaster that is just a plain old everyday coaster that Six Flags just loves having in all their parks and just, you know, they, they, they love them so much that they just move them around from park to park. You know, they, they put them on tour. It, these, these things are coasters that go on tour like a rock band. That's how awesome they are. Not really. Okay. But anyway, nonetheless, it is a staple of most American parks. Um, boomerang coasters have just been around for a long, long time. They're, they're a great addition to a park. They are uh, good, basically you know, cheap things that a park can place down, and I thought it would be a great addition to this park. Um, two reasons why I placed it in this specific area. One, you get a great view of it from outside of the park in the parking lot. You can see the loops and the corkscrew, or the uh, the cobra row there from the outside. Uh, the other reason is as you turn le right, and uh, I almost said left, but as you turn right, heading down this path from the entrance plaza, uh, it is the one of the first things you see. You're like, directly in front of you is this huge cobra road just looming over top of the path. Uh, and we decided to do the entrance right there as well. So, the path comes down through there. You see the cobra row, and the entrance is right underneath the cobra row, and then it branches off to the left to go around it. Uh, and that is just kind of one thing that I thought would be kind of a, a great addition to the park. And I think you guys would agree with me as well that it, it does look pretty good. I don't keep these colors, obviously. Um, in fact, here I am actually playing around with the colors. Uh, in this video, I think I decided to go with a red and white. And the red and white does look gorgeous. It's a really, really great you know, look for the coaster. I did change it later on to a different color, though. Um, and, you know, I just decided to go with these new kind of coaster trains on it instead of the old classic aero-style trains. Um, I just thought, again, it would just give it a little bit something different. Uh, as you can see there, I've got a little bit of a kink in the track, and that's because I was working on trying to figure out how to uh, put more path in between. I didn't want the queue line to be so close to the loops, so I decided that I would try to do something to try to change that. And what I ended up doing was it just wouldn't smooth out, so I just kind of moved the station over a little bit. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that'll work. We'll just move that over. And that's how I ended up smoothing that out, as you can see. And it worked great. So, um, had to do it where is the loops as well. But, yeah. So, this is going to be a very, very, very short video today for Crystal Gardens. Because, uh, I mean, you know, what more can you honestly say about a boomerang coaster? I mean, it's a boomerang coaster. It's and That's what it is. And there's just not a whole lot you can actually talk about, about, you know, building these or placing them down. Um, if you guys want a tutorial on how to build a boomerang coaster, then head over to another video of mine where I actually did a tutorial on building these. Because I found that some people don't actually know how to build them, uh, and they needed some help with it, so hopefully my video helped them. I, I did get some comments that a lot of people said that uh, they loved the video, so, you know, and it did help them. And that's great, um, because I, I try to be helpful. And, you know, I do that on my streams as well. Uh, for the station, I kind of liked this idea here of having the path, the queue line, go over top of the track on the back. And then I did this kind of like a, this weird curved kind of building here. Um, almost like a tent in a way, like a big metal tent. And I ended up keeping that, but we do get rid of the path over top of the trains itself. Now this video, I'm not going to have a POV showcase thing at the end of it for this coaster because if I did it now, it would be showing off so much more of this area that I have built that it, I'm just not ready to show yet. Um, 
unless you've watched my my twitch streams then you kind of already know what it looks like but you know I'm just not ready to show it here on YouTube just yet because there's so much that has been added to this area I mean there's a parking lot outside of it now um, the park itself is almost done I'm just doing details and stuff on it now which will probably the small details will probably take me longer than actually building the actual park did <laughs> which is kind of funny um, and by small details I mean like you know pathing curves um, placing down bins mm, rock placement Excuse me, I am yawning. I do that every single time I start one of these videos. I don't, I don't get tired. I don't yawn until I'm actually talking and I'm trying to do my voiceovers on my streams. I don't understand why that is. Uh, now the name of this coaster is, I, I honestly don't know. I just thought it kind of sounded cool. I don't even know how I came up with it to be honest. It's, I was think I was thinking about trains. And I believe there was an old movie that I watched one time called Switchback, and it was a pretty good movie. And I think that's maybe that had some kind of like I don't know undertone, like uh, behind the scenes thoughts in my head or something of trains in that movie. And I don't know, it it just sounded cool. So I did a little bit of testing around and experimenting with some of the end game signs and stuff, and I come up with this really cool sign that I really ended up liking a whole lot. Um, then after I got done build, making a sign, changing the colors and stuff on the signs, and then I had to put down a, you know, what's going to hold it up? So some kind of archway maybe? So I had to think about that. And uh, I went pretty simplistic because, you know, it's a simple coaster and not much going on with it. So yeah, that is going to do it for this video because we are almost at the end. Like I said, it is a short video this time. Uh, but don't worry, I will have another one for you this weekend as well. Um, and it may be another Crystal Gardens Park video, possibly. You might see it Sunday. Very possible. Guess you just have to wait and see, won't you? Um, and in the next video, it was, it's going to be a much longer video, and it's going to be an even more awesome coaster, one of my favorites. So I hope to see you then. Uh, later, guys. Hey everyone, if you'd like to help support me and my channel, I have a Patreon page where you can do just that. You can pledge anything from a dollar or more. Anyone who pledges $15 or more gets a unique, specially designed roller coaster and planet coaster made just for them. My little way of saying thanks. You can also just send donations as well if you don't want to join Patreon. And you can find those links in the video description below. Every tiny red cent I make from these means the world to me and is extremely helpful. If you're interested in my PC setup that I work with and play on that you see here, every piece of the system is described below with links to Amazon if you want to purchase them or anything else. Thanks for tuning in my videos and my channel. If you aren't already a subscriber, click that on the screen below. And you can also check out a few of my other videos on the screen here as well. You can keep up to date on what's going on in my own little world via Twitter or watch me stream live on Twitch as well. Links are in the video description below. So wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night.